Hello everybody, my name's Ryan and welcome to I Love You Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. Ugh, Colonel Sanders, you beautiful specimen, you. What name would be befitting of a young bachelor such as myself? You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Jesus Christ. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Yikes. You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh oh. Standing in the square, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend for error. Miriam! Hey! She's kinda cute. She's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met and absolutely love her for it. Good morning, green <laughs> slips. <laughs> Are you excited for this day <laughs> of the rest of our lives? <laughs> a sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped the tooth practicing on a manicure. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long to meet a Hampson fellow I could call my own. Hey, hey, you stay away from Colonel Sanders, he's mine! And I'm sure you will soon, in no time we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. You know what? Uh, maybe everything will be okay for after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Can you believe I cut them yesterday? No, they look great. You can definitely believe. <laughs> What are you talking about? Okay, sure, they're a little messy, but I mean, it's probably better than the pigsty that we woke up with. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when somebody smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoon out of your hands onto the ground. <laughs> she looks like a gym leader. <laughs> it's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. It's grease lips, thank you very very much. You leave. <laughs> I can say the name just fine, but as soon as I read it, then everything goes to hell. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. <laughs> Am I pronouncing that right? What the hell is with that little tongue of yours? Don't give me that look. Mm. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. <laughs> but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Across the square you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he souses his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> Ahem, Van Van. Oh my god. Hi. Whew, those lips. You rang rang. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. I don't know what voice to <laughs> Hi there. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Excuse you! Oopsie, I think it's broken. What, your ass? You reach for it and easily pull the door open. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one hack of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students water in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's a health code violation. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS AL. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Out of nowhere, the wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Close the window. And then... He walks in. Kya! It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harlan. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please. 
Call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open a window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you smiling gently. His hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Please, use my handkerchief. You freeze up, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you, but how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelt. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle! You will lift the sporks and compete in the broom cooking area. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but to interrupt my monologue, you're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even the, in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Does no one remember me? Um, you're expelled if you utter another word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Oh my. <laughs> the class bursts into laughter. Hey Greaselips, you're still seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. How can I pass up that manly gaze? May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! And you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the square. Oh! It's you again. Howdy. Alone together for the first time, you figure now's the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention, or I'm gonna have you sucking on my fingers in no time. What is wrong with me? The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery... It was perfect. I appreciate the compliment. Grease lips. You know my name. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside, the next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking area where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Welcome students to the cooking arena. For today's lesson we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself you pounce <laughs> on Connell Sanders. Hey Connell, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? Sure, grease lips. I'll prepare our station. Alright you two, for today's lesson we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes? And gravy! I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beef red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. Bitch, I'ma slap the extension right off of that nasty ass scalp of yours. Did someone call for me? Ugh, no jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Grease Lips' dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looks like Grease Lips was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is, these young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you already crushed and boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know 
so well while your attention was elsewhere. Colonel Sanders extends his hands. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. For a small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. Those smashed potatoes you made in class today, they were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. As you come down from the battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. <gasps> Colonel Sanders is in my room! The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home in your tired state, but you don't know if you uh, could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night, my Colonel now. Alright everybody, I'm gonna have to call this video here. I'm in love with this game so far. I honestly didn't think it was actually gonna be that good, but it's weird, it's wacky, and the anime art style is just great overall. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, you can leave a like. Any suggestions of games you want to see me play in the future, all down in the comments below. And once again, thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye I'll be honest, I don't actually like KFC's chicken. It's just way too greasy. But don't you dare tell Colonel Senpai, I will end you. He is mine! <laughs>